Hey guys, Cobble here, and today we are going to go over a very quick tutorial, but it's kind of important. There's a little nuances. This was kind of inspired by a post made on the MCC, uh, Minecraft Command Discord, and uh, it was by RX. And it basically goes over a very simple new way to do preventing players from dropping items, but in a multiplayer friendly fashion. Um, so in 1.16, you have to be in 1.16 or probably above, it will probably work in the above versions, there is some new UUID stuff that you can do and tricks you can do. So I'm going to start with, and anything I do in repeating command blocks, you would definitely want to do in a data pack. I just don't want to make a full data pack and then have a download link in the description for it and everything. I'll just have the commands in the description because it's very small. All right, so there's one method that most people know and that's going to be execute as at e type equals item uh, run data modify entity at s pick up delay set value zero so if you set the pickup delay to zero then it will be picked up immediately and this works in all for single player maps you see how it just pops back into my inventory this works just fine for single player stuff um, but you have some issues here. So there's a couple things we want to make. So tag equals not processed. So you want to specify so that you only do it once. So tag ID type equals item, uh, add processed. So now it won't like spam it 10 times for uh, every item. It'll only do it once. If the item's still on the ground, then it's still on the ground. All right, so that's great and all, but you have this problem of if I'm standing here and another player is standing here and I throw my item at him, there's actually a chance he'll pick it up. So we need to actually find some additional stuff. We need to make sure that only I get the item that I deserve. There's some good news here. There's some awesome MBT. So data get entity at E type equals item limit equals one. And you can see there's something called UUID. That's its UUID. But then you're going to see that there's another four integer UUID somewhere. What is this thrower? OK, so we know who threw the item. And there is another bit of uh, UUID you can use here with the item that isn't shown up, and that is owner. So owner means it belongs to the player. So we're going to basically just expand this. We're going to move this guy down one, and we're going to make this uh, pretty simple. So we're going to do data modify entity, add s, owner. So the owner is going to be the UUID set from itself, thrower. So if the owner is equal to the thrower, then the item will only drop for me. So if I go ahead and do this and I go like that, let's do this command again. So we can see this, it has the MBT of owner and this is negative 144. And if I do data, get entity at S UUID, you'll see that this number matches up with the owner. And when you're on a multiplayer server, that will translate to you are going to be the one who picks this guy up anytime you drop it. And that's it, literally just that. Three commands, very simple. Makes it so that this thing is not only working, it's also multiplayer friendly. Keep in mind that if you're doing a system that does like drop to detect uh, when to do something, you're gonna have to wait probably a tick because the item is not back in their inventory until like a tick later. Um, but you know, this is very convenient. I actually personally use a different method. Um, but that's just because I like to have the item back in the inventory in the same tick, but uh, that's a whole other system. Anyways, if that was useful, go ahead and leave a like. Let me know what you want to see next. I'm open to anything. Anyways, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.